Hi ladies, how's it going? Um, I don't know if you can see the look on my face right now. I'm kind of shiny. I don't really have a lot going on <laughs> right now. Don't ask you what's going on with my hair. But um, I just came to answer some questions or whatnot about what you guys had. Uh, I got a couple messages regarding some um, regarding some videos. My soft brown, soft pink, soft pink work look, I think. Um, all the time, well, majority of the time, whenever I'm <laughs> putting a cream on my eyelids before I put on a color, it's always going to be some kind of jumbo pencil or cream shadow or something of that nature. I wonder if you guys can see that. This is a white, but in that actual video, I put I used pink. This is so old. This is Mary Kate and Ashley, actually. Shimmer Plus all over crayon. It's just a, sim a shimmery pink. If you can find a shimmery pink, you know what I'm saying, cream to put over your eye, then um, then that should suffice or whatnot. I'm trying to read my note here to make sure I give you guys the information that was requested. Um, so yes, the shimmery, the shimmer cream, pink, you know, sheen color or whatever is what I put before I, you know, put anything else over before I put the actual eyeshadow on. Um, the cream that I put on my face all the time is really dirty, but it's, it's called Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. You can get this at any drugstore for about um, 11 to $12. Uh, it's a rice protein complex, that's what it's called. I'm actually in the process of looking for another one because this seems to Seems to be clogging my pores more so now, um, but I this is a staple. I will always use this. I've used this for quite some time, and this bit has lasted me quite a while. Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. This is the cream that I put on my face before I put on any foundation at all on top of a clean face, okay? Um, let's see. What was another question that was asked? The cream I put on my face, the cream I put on my eyes, and the spray I use. Uh, before putting the eyeshadow, well, I mean, the eye primer I put on before I even put on the cream stick is actually going to be Benefits Stay Don't Stray. It's an eyeshadow primer by Benefit. Um, I tend to have oily lids, and I don't know if when I first started using this, you know, it was able to control the oil, and now my oil has found a way to break through because then it'll get to creasing in this area here. But um, yeah, I really like this product. Um, it's an eye primer. I'm in the process of looking for a new eye primer. I'm actually looking forward to using Stila's Prime Pot. I've heard so many things about that. Um, for oily lids increasing so looking forward to using that but this is what I use now and have been using as a primer and then I put the cream and then I put on the actual eyeshadow um, the spray that I use after on my face this is a D slick by Urban Decay it's a D slick makeup setting spray oil control um, this is a staple I can't tell you how many of these I've you know gone through or what not to, to because I'm oily, I use powder. When you spray, when I spray with this afterwards, it kind of loosens up that powder and makes it more of a skin, you know, make it look more like skin and not so powdery. Um, they have different ones. One I'm looking forward to using is actually by Scandinavia, and it's an oil control spray as well, and they also have a bridal spray. Um, so, on that note, that's the spray that I use, the creams that I use, Ah, to my girl, uh, you know, I'm looking for the rainbow look that I just posted. She wanted to know what products I used. I used all the products I just named. Instead of the pink sheer, I used the white jumbo pencil. Um, I used my 88 Original Coastal Sense 88 eyeshadow palette. All the colors from that look came from this palette um, besides one. The center grayish purplish color is actually by Wet n Wild, and it is which one is this? Oh, I think I took off the name of it. It was a limited edition, an older limited edition palette when they used to have the the six in the palette. Um, 
on how I miss those. What and why? Y'all need to get it together. Seriously. But, um, hmm. Anyway, I don't know what the name of the palette is, but this is it. This is that purple that I use there. And this is a Wet n Wild palette. And these retail for, I don't know, anywhere between three and five bucks. Um, so, depending on what you're looking for. But all the colors that I used in that video were from that palette, from my eyes, were from that palette, 88 palette and the Wet n Wild palette. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys um, who had a little bit of questions for, you know, certain products that I use. I hope this helps. And if you want to see like an actual one-on-one -on -one of an eye, a face, anything, um, we need to keep this communication action going. Uh, subscribe down there, rate, give me some thumbs up down there, com and comment, comment, say hey, or you know, message box me, message my inbox on my YouTube channel, um, or however you want to contact me. Let me know what you want to see, how you want to see it, your concerns, questions, all that good stuff. Um, so we can get more of these videos up to speed. So. I guess that's it. Anything else, ladies? Just be free. feel free to uh, communicate with me, okay? Until next time, ciao.